Okay, kia ora tātou, i roti te mana ki tāngatou tātou ariki, matua tama wairua tapu, ngā ni hera pūrumi te maanga i tātou kumai ai ne ake ne ai. So, marama tanga na minute, day 86. So, I find out we actually had some technical difficulties that we were dealing with yesterday, but uh, we're going to do a double up today, whānau. So, in light of the, uh, this morning, we had a kōrero with our apōtoro reta, Simon Pikimawi, who's from Okaiho. And so he shared a bit of a story about some of the things that Taupo Tsuki Muratana did in that rohe and some of the things that actually happened after. So his father was one of many people who were present at the time of Ratana uh, arriving. Oh, hold on. Oops. So I, Simon Pikimawi's father was present at the arrival of Tau, uh, of Tau Potiki when we ratana, and in that pretty much he saw and witnessed some of the miracles that took place um, and due to that he actually hitchhiked his way all the way back to Ratana Pa where he found the beautiful wahine there and they built a home and out of that home came Simon Pikimawi. So ane whanau, um, we have Tioana Harrington here sharing with us uh, a bit of her kōruru or some of the things that she knows uh, in terms of what happened in the Taitokero. So that's pretty much the theme for today. Uh, we had our Potoriri to talk about uh, some things in his rohe, and now we've got Tiawana. Um, so, Tene Timihia Te Kia Koe Tiawana, Moto Tainga Mai, Tō Kaupapa, Ki Tenei Kaupapa. So, before we carry on, maybe if you can just do a bit of a whakamarma ko ai koe, no hea koe. Kia pai, kia ora. Kia ora, Rans. Uh, whai kororia, hareruia ki a iho a ngā mano matua tama wairua tapu. Me ngāre rupuno, piki te ora, piki te kaha, piki te maramatanga me te rangimari i runge i a tātou katoa ko te māngai, hei tautoko aia nei āke nei. Ai, i te tuatahi e mihi ana ki a koe me tō hoa uh, i kauhautia e kairua ki uh, te rongo pai o tēnei maramatanga te kōruru a te māngai rau a ko piriwiritua. Nā, nā reira e mihi ana ki a koe. A ko tīnana te waka, ko tūmoana te, uh, te tangata, ko pūtahi te maunga, ko wairoro te awa, te kotahitanga te marae, ko Ngāti Whakeke, uh, Ngāti Tautahi te uri o hua o kuhapu. Uh, tēnei ahau, ko Te Oana Harrington, um, e mihi ana ki a koutou katoa. Tēnā koutou. Ok, so where do we start? This is a, a big oh. kōrero when it comes to right. the kotahitanga marae. Um, and when it comes to kaikohe, I think the first thing to begin with is to is to say straight off the mark that uh, Ngāpui was very resistant. Uh, Ngāpui was not an easy people to convince. Um, and in particular, here in kaikohe. Um, and that's because uh, we were the first to be, to be colonised, we were the first to be introduced to the church mission society. Uh, we were the first to be uh, baptised into the Anglican Church. Um, and that's not to say that the Anglican Church didn't do a lot of uh, mahi pai here. Uh, but the resistance happened when you've got two very strong uh, churches, um, you know, for the first time meeting in a place like the Kotahitanga Marae. Um, so his first travels up here, as far as, as, far as I understand, happened in uh, 1923. And um, he happened to stop at Whangarei uh, train station. And whilst there, he was given a um, uh, Te Tiriti o Waitangi, a copy of Te Tiriti o Waitangi. Um, and it would have been the 1877 copy of the Tiriti um, by a man called Nan Paraune. Um, that would later come up. Uh, again in 1929, when Tau Henare and, uh, and a, and a tūpuna of the Piki Māoris, Wurumu Ngāwati, uh, Diripi Wihungi Mā, they had gone to the native land courts um, to request for their tiriti to be returned back here uh, to the Taitokero to Ngāpui in particular. Um, and <clears throat> he served that purpose by coming up here when he was invited by Erika Akuata. Uh, he was an Apotoro Wairua. 
he invited the Tumaki, which was of course Ratana Marai Piruritua, to come up to Kaikohe to the Kotahitanga Marae to hold a synod here. Uh, the first, really the first hinota that was going to be uh, held outside of the pa. And his main reason was to really to, to bring together the Moruhu and the Pope um, that are located in the Ngāpui region. Uh, but that's, that trip was a very special trip, um, and it didn't just uh, help to garner su support and, um, you know, bring more uh, more people toward the kaupapa that the Māngai was carrying. Uh, but what it also did is it, it, it challenged the Anglican Church. Um, and sometimes we don't like to get into those kinds of kōrero because it tends to, uh, you know, we tend to do this, oh, now we've got to all be kotahi here. Uh, but in order to get to that kotahi tanga, he knew that he needed to actually address some of these matters that were underlying. And like I said, Ngāhui was very resistant. Um, I know I'm going over the minute at the moment. <laughs> my, 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 um, <clears throat> but there's a lot to that kōrero. Um, and in the, in the moment of coming to the Kotahitanga Marae, um, they tried to stop him on the road, coming through Kaikui on the main road. They had a, a little contingent party out there making sure that he didn't come into Kaikui, but he took the back road. Uh, and <laughs> when he got to the Kotahitanga Marae, it was a sea of black, a sea of black. All our whānau were there wearing their black kākahu. But what he was inspired by was the colours that our Moruhu Pope that oh, those, on, those of the Moruhu of the Pope were wearing, um, and they were there waiting for him. And when he got up to the place where the Waharoa is or is expected to be. He organised his poote hahi in a spearhead. He had um, the akunga, the yafina, the the abotu wairua organised in a spearhead with himself and his family, his wife and children, in the middle of that spearhead, and they took him on. They took him on to the marae, and I tell you, those kai corridors of the Skotahitanga marae, they were giving it. They're all to um, uh, to <clears throat> to try to downgrade him. It got to a point where a minister called Wurumu Panapa, he's quite renowned up here, uh, where Wurumu Panapa put a challenge across and actually said to him, I'm actually your tuakana. Um, I'm actually above you. And, um, <clears throat> you know, so he's, he's peacocking around in this in this corridor and the mangai comes back with some really humble words and uh looks to looks to the name of the kotahitanga marae and says although you carry that name kotahitanga you still build fences in amongst you mm. um, and he was looking to his morihu people um at that point to not 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 in the idea of supporting him but looking for their corridor to come forward, and each of them got up to uh, to lay down uh, their narrative around why they came into this maramatanga. It's in, in this time that he challenges Winamu Panapa once again, and in that uh, challenge, it was because it was storming at the time, it was heavy weather, it was uh, all over the place. The weather was all over the place. And of course, the weather was was reflecting back the kind of things that were going on inside of the marae, the kinds of discussions mm. that were happening. Um, and so he challenges Wurumu Panapa and he says to him, well, ehoa, we've gone, you know, pretty much three or four days of this. So um, because you're, you know, you're resisting being able to join, not join the, not join the church, but actually join in brotherhood together. In believing in the one God, kotahite matua, kotahite iriri, kotahite whakapuno. And so he says to Wurumu Panapa, well, if you say that your God is who he is, then I ask you to pray to make the rain stop and the wind stop from blowing 
So when a Mupanapa goes into his hakamoimiti, he gives him a time to do that, you know, uh, you know, a couple of hours to be able mm. to do that. And then the Māori who get really afraid because at the end of the day, the weather's getting worse. Uh, and they turn around, and they say to the Māngai, please, you know, they plead to the Māngai, please, can you, can you change the situation? Can you stop this from happening? So the Māngai therefore carries on. He says, are you asking me to stop this? Everybody in the hui says, aye. So he does his hakamoimati the next morning. They go to bed the next morning. The sun is out. The sun is shining. And this was the moment for many. Yeah. Um, the moment where, where many came across into this movement from here in Kaikohe. Uh, so that's just a little bit of a... I caught it all in regards to the Kotahi Marae, in regards to Kaikui, and even though it might look like, oh well, geez, this is a bit of a, a side of the corridor or there's not all that uh, pretty. Um, right. If people know us from the title, you know, <laughs> we're not ones for um, <clears throat> for flowering things up. Sure. Mm. Um, and uh, and it's because we resisted so much. Uh, our tupuna resisted so much but once they came into this marama, maramatanga tuturu rawa matai tuturu rawa oh. um, and I think that's that's the strength um, that he's you know that through his work in coming here not just to challenge but to show to show the way is the reason why we're as strong as we are in regards to our maramatanga and if, on that topic, because um, 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 but there's just a few things that you started to touch on, which I feel is probably pretty important to share. And I guess for the ears of Ngāpui and Ngāiwi Kato o te tai tokerau, rather I made a statement, and I think he said this a couple of times. Um, ko te tai tokarau, oku ringa ringa, oku wai wai. So, what's what's your understanding of that? Why did he say that? Uh, I believe it's because of the the uh, our ability to actually rise to the work. Uh, mm. When he went in the direction, our people followed. Uh, when it came to 1928, and he was now working inside of the inside of the mahi of Piriwiri Tua, our people followed. Uh, and so, in regards to that that mahi of Piriwiri Tua, in regards to Te Tiriti or Waitangi and Mana Motuhake, our people have carried that that mahi on. So I believe in that regard. The Ringa Ringa Wai Wai refers to that. Uh, we get in, we get we put the spade to the ground. I think. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, kapai. Um, and and I know there are probably a, a lot of people here looking and hoping that the kororo can carry on. Um, you know, I've caught this thing marmatang in a minute, in a minute, but has it been a minute? No. <laughs> um. So um, I'm, um, we could probably do another session on this. Uh, fine. Uh, kote mataki takiana. Um, because there is a whole lot of awesome kororo around the Taitokoro that are, um does need to be shared. I mean. Heaps of mm -hmm. kōrero around the motu that needs to be shared. Um, so, okay. i roti tēnā. Um, thank you, uh, Tiawana, for uh, accepting the um, tono to come in and share some of this kōrero. And I know mm -hmm. a lot of people watching uh, would have definitely gotten something out of it. So, tēnā i mihi atu kia koe. Um, and to all of those watching, um, again, you know, some of the kōrero that's been shared, it is encouraging I guess, for us to continue to seek out some of the stories, especially those um, in, from your own rohi. Seek out the stories mm. from your own rohi and then be interested in and be, I guess, inquisitive in trying to find out these other kōrō that are around the motu. Um, so, ai, no reira, namana ki tanga o ihoa ki rongi a tātou katoa, matua, tama, wairua tapu, ane hea rupunui te manga ngariki, he kai āwhina, he kai tau tuko mai, ai nei, ake nei, ai. Ai. Kia ora. Kia ora.